How have you evolved in your production style? What are your sources oh, and, you know, yeah, how do you um, build those up? I mean, I still use the same type of style of, as when I started making beats, but I just think the 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 way I finesse it is, is a lot more different. You know what I mean? The way I go about I mean, picking different samples, you know what I mean? got new toys. Yeah, I have a different MP, you know, but I still... This it's is what still, we both started on yeah. right here. This is like the original, the yeah. original, and then we also added this bad boy wow. into the mix. You know, we don't really play <laughs> instruments, but you know, we found that. But I still use a lot, you know, a lot of vinyl. Yeah, a lot of wax. A lot of wax. You don't see me playing a cello or nothing. Drum machine, but um... It's a very, it's a, we have a very um DJ-based um, production style. You know, spinning out, we we DJed a lot. We spun it. Like I said, we spun in New York. We're spinning a lot of grooves. We were record digging. So, coming from that perspective, you know, we wanted to make our own music. You know, manipulate sound. And by manipulating sound, you know, we take the sounds that we like to hear as DJs, and we add on. We do drum programming, or we alter it by chopping it. Now, how can you expand on that? I mean, after a while, well, learning you learning how to basically learning how to play more instruments. Like we have, like I got this bad boy, um, and then I got a four thousand at home. Like we're very, we're very big sample guys, but at the same time, I'm always open to um. I, I want to get a new keyboard. I want to get new keyboards, new sounds to layer on top of the samples that I do like, and then eventually maybe slip them out. I'm also interested in working, you know, with live drummers and like. You know stuff like that, but when you know when the time comes for now, yeah, we're not we we don't we don't I'm not, force I'm not, anything. I'm not you know? rushing mm -hmm. to go get an orchestra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like, like that, um, but like, like our projects usually f a lot of projects that we do end up falling into our lap, which makes which gives it like a natural feel to it. Um, like we're gonna start working with uh, Liquid right here because it just f kind of fell into our lap. That was the destiny of things. Um, the album, eight, uh, No Room for Dessert. That happened because uh, we wanted uh, Eighth wanted to do a whole AOK project with dudes was mad yeah. busy. Basically, and he heard we were the ones who wanted to do work. So he heard the Essence track and he was like, "Yo, I, you gotta send me, you gotta make some shit like that for me." Yeah. And I'm like, "He I'm sent like, us an acapella, and we did, yeah. I, I built we built something around it." Yeah. And and from that track, the track is called. Um, Win or can't win them all, yeah. which is going to be on the album. And that was right. the first track we made. Actually, it's not the first track we made, but it's the first track we made for that album for him. And then before that, he did uh, Say My Name Right, which is the clarification yeah. of his whole name, which people always call it Eighth Wonder or Ninth Wonder. I actually made that beat on the, the 2500. With the manager sample. Yeah, manager. Well, we like we like to give away our samples. We're not like we're not record snobs at the same time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of dudes be like, yo, yo, put a black rap is an art. You can't you, <laughs> you, you, you like, can't own no loops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, music is really you know. I mean, music is universal. I mean, might as well share it. Why why not let you like if I sampled this record? I mean, I, I'd like you to enjoy it as well. When I was um when I was young when we were young, uh, we would hear, um. Like, my dad would show me, like, I, hey, oh, dad, check out this song, this rap song. And then, uh, the, one of the, the big one was uh, Father MC when he came out with this, I forgot the name of the joint, but it was the Good Time sample yeah. by Sheik. And my dad was like, ah, oh, here it is. I got that. And then <laughs> my dad was a real big disco head, so when um, Biz Marquis did, everybody just clap your hand, no stopping, mm -hmm. and then the McFadden and Whitehead joint, so ain't no stopping us now. He pulled that out. And I'm like, wait. Rappers aren't using bands, and this is accessible, and I can do this. I started digging, you know, and I was like looking for more sounds and the research. And then I, you, could, I, we came across such a ri rich look. We came across <laughs> such a rich plethora of music, and uh, and that's not even our whole collection yeah. that we just started digging for more sounds, you know. And one thing leads to another, and you, you're more versed in music and. You you love hearing more different kinds of music. I think if anything enhances our um, style, it's just our taste in music and, and our and our like our love for it and love for listening to it. And what we're really doing is sharing raw grooves with people over over like drum tracks and uh, over drum programming. I'll put it that way. And because I do think people should go back and say, Yo, Deep, what what you sample for that? And we'll tell you. We'll show you the record. Go listen to it because it's a dope song. And I think your life will be better. 
for it. Yeah, like I, I played the the originals for Carpenter and Essence at at Homeboy's uh, release yeah. party because I want people to recognize them. You know, I want want them to go back and look for the records and say, oh, these are the joints that uh, Two Hungry Bros sampled. You know what I mean? I want them to recognize that. You know what I mean? Like, that we're we're still out there digging for records and trying to recreate samples. You know what I mean? Like 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 you know Primo did or like Pete Rock did. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So. There's a Dr. Knockboot sample. Just pulling some out. Um, Idris Muhammad, and yeah. this is a Delight sample. You remember yeah. Groups in the Heart? It's like yeah, a breakdown of that. I mean, this is so much like in Latin music. Just because we're Puerto Rican, we have you know, as you can see, Jody Batang and uh, Ray Barreto. A very big. We see that dust. See that dust flying mm -hmm. around. Look at that. We're dying early. It's very, very, people. very yeah. uh, rugged. <laughs> How you long know, is this, it these records here, they're not in any order or anything like that. You know, like when I when I make beats, I dig, I dig through my records again. You know what I mean? Yeah, just so, to recreate so, that feel. Like, I like to, uh, I like for it to be fun. You know what I mean? So that's how I create and. I think it conveys in make, music. Make bangers, make hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.